Hokkaido Museum in Nokporo Forest Park, Sapporo. It is a comprehensive museum that introduces the nature, history, and culture of Hokkaido. In the culture and recent history of the Ainu exhibition room, there is a restored old Ainu dwelling. Inside the house, there is a hearth and places designated for sitting, sleeping, and keeping valuables. This is a cage for keeping a baby bear. A headband worn for special occasions such as ceremonies. A stringed instrument called tonkori. The world of Ainu culture has been passed down and will go on into the future. Please learn about the past and present of Hokkaido, and then think about its future. Sapporo Pirka Kotan, located near the mountains of Minamiku Sapporo. Sapporo Pirka Kotan is a facility surrounded by nature and means beautiful village in the Ainu language. A traditional Ainu dwelling is called a chisen. This is a restored boat which was used when going out to sea, called Itaomachi. A traditional culture that coexisted with the rich nature of the northern land. Various folk craft articles are displayed in the exhibition room. What stands out is the pattern in the Ainu costumes. One of the most representative costumes is Atusi, which is made using thread from bark fibers. When you touch the material, you can feel the softness and lightness of the fabric and the delicate handiwork that takes time and effort for each stitch of embroidery. Visitors can touch and hold most of the exhibits. You can learn while enjoying the life, history, and culture of the Ainu people. The Hokkaido Ainu Center is a 10-minute walk from JR Sapporo Station. It's located inside a building in the center of Sapporo. The Ainu Association of Hokkaido, as the designated manager, shows the changes in Ainu culture and the activities of indigenous peoples. A wooden mortar in the material exhibition room. It makes us picture their life in those days. Items which were obtained through trade with surrounding peoples and wajing. Animal and fish traps of the Ainu with diverse ideas are also on display. Today, the Ainu people are trying hard to pass down the way to make and use these tools and traps. Please see and feel the thoughts of the Ainu people in the way they convey their own history and culture. Tomakomai is a leafy city with a port that represents Japan. Tomakomai City Museum is a complex facility which shows natural science and art. 
Also on display are historical materials such as earthenware excavated from the Topkop archaeological site, which was used by people from the Jomon period to the Ainu culture period. A lacquerware tool used for rituals. Such lacquerware was obtained through trade with Wajin, so the depth of interaction with Wajin can be seen. Dugout canoes, or chip, were excavated from the Yufzu River. These dugout canoes were buried in the volcanic ash of Mount Tadumai, which erupted more than 350 years ago. The Bibi River, where the Ainu people used to come and go by dugout canoe, its quiet flow is still going on now. Shizunai in Shinhidaka is the place where the Ainu hero Shakushain was based in his revolt of 1669. Items used in daily life are on display at the Shinhidaka Ainu Museum, with boats restored with reference to Ezo Seike Zusetsu, a document from the end of the Edo period. The skull of the Hokkaido wolf, which was used for rituals, is especially important because it is the only one left in Japan. The extinct Hokkaido wolf was very special to the Ainu. Iron products excavated from archaeological sites such as Chashi, built by the Ainu, are also on display, reminiscent of those days. Shinhidaka also has the Shinhidaka Museum, which opened in 2015. The history and culture of the region are displayed in an easy-to-imagine manner in a spacious and beautiful facility. This is Shibetchari Suigen no Ki, a record of the Shibetchari water source. Sakuzaemon Yamanouchi, a shogun's retainer, traced the Shizunai River with the Ainu people as a guide. This document shows the relationship between Wajin and the Ainu people in the late Edo period. Nibutani, in the town of Biratori, located in the middle basin of the Saru River in the western part of the Hidaka region. Nibutani Kotan is a main base for cultural promotion, and a part of it has been designated as an important cultural landscape of Japan. The Nibutani Ainu Culture Museum has a unique appearance. It boasts the largest collection of Ainu folk craft articles in Japan. In addition, there are 919 items designated as important tangible folk cultural properties. The museum is divided into four booths, where the activities and culture of the Ainu people living at the Saru River Basin are explained in an easy-to-understand manner. It's beautiful work with the characteristic fish scale carving and the Ainu pattern with curved lines. Kayano Shigeru Nibutani Ainu Museum. Shigeru Kayano who was the first Ainu politician in Japan, collected the materials over 40 years.
Of the Ainu folk craft articles in the collection, 202 were designated as important tangible folk cultural properties by the Agency for Cultural Affairs. This is Konkane Tuki, which Shigeru Kayano used during his lifetime. It's a tea bowl stand, Tenmokudai. It's made of metal, which is rare. This is a costume made by Deiko Kayano for her husband, Shigeru. The traditional pattern was handed down in the Nibutani area. On the second floor, many tools and paintings of indigenous peoples and ethnic minorities from around the world, such as China and the United States, are displayed. There are 4,000 items in the collection, including those of the Ainu people. In addition, a matchmaking stone is placed outside, making it a popular power spot. Biratori Ainu Crafts and Heritage Center, Ureshpa, is a base for human resource development to disseminate Ainu crafts. Tourists and townspeople can also feel free to experience craft making. Moreover, it has the latest equipment, such as a laser processing machine, and there are programs to make tumblers and mug bottles with Ainu patterns. Urespa means to grow together in the Ainu language. One of the features of this facility is also to inherit and improve traditional techniques together and to do cultural exchanges. This is Nibutani Craft Gallery, which is also a base for promoting Ainu culture in Biratori. The works of Ainu craftsmen who are active in Japan and overseas are on sale. Nibutani Ita and Nibutani Atusi were designated as traditional crafts by the Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry for the first time in Hokkaido in 2013. Colorful and warm products such as business card holders and wallets were made by arranging traditional atusi weaves. Steam powerfully rises here at Jigokudani. It's in Noboribetsu, which is one of the best hot spring resorts in Hokkaido. Chidi Yukie Memorial Museum is also located here. Yukie Chidi is known as the author of Ainu Shin Yoshu, the first Ainu story to ever be transcribed. Yukie spoke Ainu in her everyday life, spoke Japanese at school, and sometimes substituted for the teacher. Yukie wrote down the epic called Yukar, which her aunts had been orally handing down. Yukie noticed that the Ainu words written in Japanese were different from the actual pronunciation, such as yukara, which is pronounced yukar. The pronunciation spelling discovered by Yukie has become established as the current Ainu language notation. The notebook that Yukie wrote Yukar in was decided to be published. Sadly, she died of a heart attack the night she completed the proofreading. She was only 19 years old. Yukie fulfilled her mission to convey the Ainu language after her death, her book and the spirit contained in it have continued to impress various people. Yoichi is a town with a warm climate suitable for growing fruits. 
Many ruins from the Jomon period have been discovered, so it is known that people have settled here since ancient times. Yoichi Fisheries Museum is located on Mount Moide. Along with daily necessities, you can see herring fishing equipment that laid the foundation of the region. A picture which was drawn to pray for a bountiful catch of spring herring and autumn salmon. In the middle of the 19th century, the number of merchants from Honshu increased and trade became active. A wood carving in the shape of a killer whale, the god of the sea called Kamuigiri. It is said that it was enshrined at home to pray for a bountiful catch. A Benzai Sen ship that was used to connect Honshu and Hokkaido during the Edo period. Along with various marine products, Japanese culture was also brought to Hokkaido. About 40 minutes by car from the new Chitose Airport, Upopoi National Ainu Museum and Park opened in Shiraoi in July 2020. It is the first national center in Japan for the purpose of reconstruction and development of Ainu culture. <laughs> the performance of Ainu traditional dance is registered as a UNESCO intangible cultural heritage. <laughs> national Ainu Museum is the first national museum in Hokkaido. As Japan's first national museum on the theme of the Ainu people, it exhibits Ainu culture and conducts research. An approximately six meter high bear connecting stake was reproduced over a year as a symbol of the museum. The bear is decorated with accessories. It was used by Sakhalin Ainu in the ceremony for sending the bear spirit. And this is the only facility in Japan that displays it. A theater introduces Ainu culture from various themes in an easy to understand manner. At the museum shop, visitors can buy Ainu crafts and the museum's original goods. Visitors can enjoy the traditional Ainu dish Ohau at the cafe. Please experience the appeal of Ainu culture at Upopoi. <laughs>